Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits and welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I am doing a glitter glue review. <laughs> yes, I am actually going to review glitter glues because I don't know about you, but glitter is my spirit animal. <laughs> I love glitter. I love the effects of glitter. Um, I use glitter on uh, the edges of my two inch deep cradled artwork boards, my mixed media boards uh, for the first time in my Wizard of Oz series. I started with Dorothy and I decided to add red glitter like the ruby slippers only along the sides of the artwork. So rather than to incorporate it on the front, I would just add that red glitter to the sides for the Dorothy effect. Then I went on to create the rest of the characters from Wizard of Oz and I gave the Tin Man silver and the Lion green and the Wicked Witch black with purple and blue in it. It was really dramatic. Then I started messing around with glitter on the gel plate and I played with glitter um, the, on the gel plate. It sort of stuck to the plate for a while. So I was like, well, I'm not sure how I feel about this. And then I found that I could put the glitter on top of the gel prints when I was done with the palette knife. So I've been messing around with different glitters for different applications. And I can tell you that the most difficult glitter is the old fashioned way of putting down the glue and then shaking the glitter in there and then tapping it off and having it dust and go everywhere and end up in your entire house and you can never get rid of it. And then you have to figure out how to keep it from falling off if you bump or brush the edge of it. So that's when I abandoned traditional glitter and glue and found some glitter gel products that I'm going to share with you today. I have three different types of jitter, jitter glow, glitter, glitter gel, save that five times fast. I have, well, two different products. One is Stickles Glitter Gel. The second one, and you've seen me use that before. And the second one, this is very new to me. This is Folk Art Glitterific Pop. And that's pretty cool stuff. Um, I've got it in green. I've got it also in gold. And then I've got it in some fun silver and black, but it comes in a wide range of colors. And this is glitter that's basically suspended in a glue that is the consistency of fluid acrylic paint, okay? The Stickles Glitter Gel comes in two different formats. It comes in a squeeze top bottle like this, which is very, um, sparkly and will come out in a nice fine point because the squeeze top point is super de duper fine. Um, and so we can spread that in a long thin line. Oh, what I neglected to tell you about glitterific pop is that there are large chunks of glitter suspended in this product. And so you will get a variety of size and shapes of pieces in this product. In the Stickles Glitter Gel with the squeeze top, you are only going to get small traditional fine glitter because of the size of the squeeze top. But let me grab the Stickles Glitter Gel in the pot. So the Stickles Glitter Gel in the pot, ta-da, this, let's try to get that in focus. Maybe not. This is this is going to be the same color, but this is going to have in it some glorious shapes and sizes. There we go. Shapes and sizes of glitter, a variety of shapes and sizes, and some variety of colors. These kinds of chunks and pieces you can't get out of the squeeze top. But there's different application for all three of these. Um, you can also see from this one that um, it's blue, right? So the, it's the glue that it is suspended in is is this teal aqua blue color, and likewise with this. But when you look at glitterific pop. The difference that you're going to see is that it is clear. So that what looks like milky white in there is going to dry clear. So what um, 
the difference with that is this is going to be a lighter, more subtle coat because the only color is glitter. And this product is going to be a little bit more bold and intense because the glue gel is also colored. So without any further ado, if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. Okay, so I thought the glitter would look really um, wonderful over a dark color rather than over a white, that it would show up better over a dark color, especially since our sparkly bits are kind of light. So the first um, one I'm going to show you is the Stickles Glitter Gel in the pot, and that's what I spread with the palette knife. So this one, you angle with the palette knife and you can see the consistency of it. It's thick like a gel. You can lay it on really thick and have a heavy coverage, or you can scrape it thinner to have a thinner coverage. So you can really spread out a lot of that blue color from the gel, or you can scrape it down thin. And you can see the really cool pieces of chunks and shapes that are suspended in that glue. And you can also see that it has that bluish tint from the glue itself being colored. So um, the most recent application I used this on was the sides of my uh, Corvid, uh, Celestial Corvid uh, Crow piece that I donated to UMass Amherst Fine Art Center Gala. I did apply a little bit of the same glitter to the Raven and um, in the darker areas and the background. So the next one um, is the glitter gel in the squeeze cap. And for demonstration purposes, I switched to this gold color. And this is really cool because, as I said, it allows you to create a thin line. Now this line will not dry dimensional. Right now it's raised up, but it will not dry dimensional. But you can get the glitter to spread in a really thin line pattern and you can draw shapes and you can follow shapes and you can follow marks on stencils with that and so that gives you a, a lot more control but also remember because of that squeeze cap you're not getting those beautiful chunks and shapes that you get with the glitter gel in the pot so lastly the the product that's new to me the glitterific pop let's just turn this around this is in uh suspended in clear sort of a, a paint. This is considered a paint and not so much a glue gel, but um, for all intents and purposes, it's in the same family, right? So this is thinner. You spread it out with a paintbrush and it is suspended in clear. So we are going to get the same benefits as the stickles in the pot in terms of different shapes and sizes of glue bits, but it's going to dry perfectly clear. And I actually did spread quite a bit of this out. I probably could have gone a little thinner in my application, especially so you can see it in the more clear effect. And of course, this would have to dry to get clear. But in the same way as the gel in the, in the pot, we're getting those unique shapes, different shapes and different sizes and chunks of pieces. So um, this is still pretty thick. I think that you could uh, probably also apply that to the side of a, of a wood panel um, with the palette knife now that I work with it again. It's a little less clingy than the stickles, but it sure is um, very similar. And we will come back and look at this when it dries and see the difference of the clear application versus the colored gel application of the stickles. And all of these products come in many colors and with um, lots of options. So here's a little bit of practical application for the glitter gels and paints that I thought I would share with you. First of all, I created this hummingbird on an ephemera background that includes old bird book pages. And for the brush, I'm gonna be using my um, angled shader. Uh, this is my Princeton Velvet Touch half inch angled shader because I can get, you know, with this pointed edge, I can get into some smaller spaces. 
So I've also got um, the Glitterific Pop in um, gold, and I thought I could highlight or add to some of the gold background by adding a little bit of these pieces and this of the of the gold pieces and this is an example where the clear is going to work to my advantage because I don't want to color the background I just want to spread some of these little um various bits of gold glitter back there and so it being suspended in the clear folk art glitterific pop works really well so I'll put a little bit here and there and I'll scoop out a little thicker here. There we go, get some bigger chunks that way, especially down here in some of the lighter area. And again, this is just dispersing the glue chunks there. I mean, the, the glitter chunks, the glue, the paint um, is completely transparent. So we can just disperse the, the glitter this way. And we'll pull that out into the background where I have some gold in the background and I can sort of just accent it with these little bits of glittery gold. Okay. So the next color that I'll use is the, is the green, the dragon scales and the, the gold is, um, Oh, golden treasure. So the green is the dragon scales. And I thought I would add some of that into the bird itself. So again, I'm going to use the brush here and grab a little bit of the dragon scales and sort of add them on top right here where the, the green um, hummingbird feathers are. So a little bit like that. Just a little bit goes a long way with this stuff because it's so sparkly. And then the um, stickles in the squeeze top, I thought I would give a little, a, use a little bit of the gold in the squeeze top because I can really control where that goes and I can create a line here just along the edge. And remember, it, it comes out dimensional, but it doesn't dry dimensional, so it'll, it won't be a raised line. But I really like that there along the edge of the belly and maybe up here along the edge of the top of the head and here, just to grab a little bit of the highlight edges. And as I said, the background I painted with golden interference um, gold, so it's already got sort of a, a gold shimmer to it. And now it's got a little bit of glitter. This one is also an eight by eight. So, and it's on a nice deep edge here. So I'm gonna grab um, the blue stickles in the pot and I'm going to apply it over, I found this works the best, to apply the glue over, the glitter gel over a color that is very similar to it. That way if you miss any spots or you have any of the background showing through, rather than it being white, um, you're gonna have the right color. So you can see how really thick the Stickles Glitter Gel is, and that is really nice for applying to the edges right here with the palette knife. And I can smooth that out as thick or as thin as I want it, and I'll just scrape it off any of it that gets on the front. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the aqua to that blue, a little bit more of a, a hummingbird color. And we'll mix the two blues together. And the different glitter gels have different shapes um, suspended in the glitter. So the chunky shapes are often different between the different colors, which is kind of fun. There we go. So we can add some of that aqua, which has also got specks of gold. And it's looking really nice with the blue underneath the blue uh, paint and the blue first layer 
So we're getting a really nice hummingbird kind of glittery edge here on my two inch deep panel. So now I've got a beautiful finished edge to go with my hummingbird art on the front. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's tidbit. I hope you've enjoyed learning everything I know about glitter glue. One last comment I wanted to make is that since all of these materials are suspended in either the gel or the glitterific pop paint, there is no glitter coming off, no matter how much you rub it or bump it. So that is a great benefit to the fact that the glitter is suspended in either clear paint or colorful gel. Thanks for being here with me this week, and I look forward to seeing you back here for another tutorial tidbit next week. And if you're excited at all about the hummingbird creation, you can see lessons like that from start to finish on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Elizabeth St. Hilaire. Happy Friday, and thank you for being here.